Hey, this is Alex Botmation Rising. Today I'm going to talk to you how to set up your Jetson Nano Developer Kit straight out of the bat, but with actually all the essentials you actually really need to get started with this, and not so much the confusing quick start guide that was initially given out to the NVIDIA customers. So what you really need, um, so they give you a couple options uh, using a micro SD power supply or the optional uh, barrel type power supply, which is recommended when you when the document says you actually need it for more processing power. So you might as well just go with more power because this one operates at five volts, four amps, whereas the micro um, power supply only goes up to two amps. So that leaves a whole two amps of power that you're going to be missing. So which means when you get started and try to do a lot of machine learning on this device, you're going to run into issues where it's going to, it's going to choke. So you might as well go with the actual full-blown power supply that this thing requires. Another thing you're going to need is actually it's a 64 gigabyte SD memory card only because the 16 gigabyte that the minimum requirement is actually just enough to fit the image. So which means if you're actually going to do any machine learning or any sort of development you want on this thing, you're going to run out of memory very quickly. And even with 32 gigabytes, you're still going to run out of uh, memory very quickly. So you might as well go with, I would say the, the minimum requirement should really be 64 gigabyte. You can go a lot bigger, but for what I'm doing and all my projects, we're only going to need 64 gigabytes. And the other thing you really need is a, obviously a camera. So what's recommended is actually a Raspberry Pi camera module version 2. So these things will work uh, straight out of bat. All you got to do is just plug it in. And one of the things I forgot to mention was, so to use the barrel type power supply versus the micro SD um, power supply, you need to have a little jumper here. And what I basically just use is one of the, a typical uh, GPIO jumper here. And I will basically tell the Raspberry, I mean, <laughs> the, the Nano here to, to use this power supply. And you're going to need some sort of uh, interface to this thing. So what I have here is a wireless uh, USB and keyboard that I plugged in. And you have the option of using a display port or HDMI port. Um, and you're also going to need a RJ45 connector to your Ethernet connection because this thing is going to need uh, a lot of updates. And the micro SD card actually just goes back here if you didn't see that earlier. And it's spring loaded, so once you're done with that, you basically just spring load it in. So to get started, what you really need is in the you will need to go to the developer's website and just do a basically search for just a nano developer kit quick start, and you'll get to this web page where you basically then need to download the image, the Jetson image. And then you're going to also need to prepare your um, SD card using a standard SD formatter, which you'll see in the description of this YouTube page. And after that, then you're going to need to use Etcher, which is another software you're going to need to load the Jetson Nano image that you downloaded, which is in the zip file. You don't need to open it. You basically just using the Etcher program to select the zip file and go ahead and put it in. And then that will get you right started. And then now we're going to go into how to set up your project. And if you're like me and you want to um, use this Nano straight out, of, straight out of the gate and you want to use a visual recognition versus facial detection, the application on the image only has the facial detection uh, using OpenCV 3.2. But... To upgrade it, you're going to need to purge the whole thing, which is why I'm recommending 64 gigabytes, and install OpenCV 4.1. So in order to do that, uh, the 4 gigabyte memory that's on this device is not enough to handle the installation of OpenCV completely. So what you need to do is to add in additional 4 gigabytes uh, virtual memory. And that instruction is also included in the description page here. So once you have that, you should be able to install OpenCV 4.1 with the full-blown um, Extras Contrib uh, library. And I'll give you the facial recognition library as well. And that's, that's basically what I'm going to show you. And then after that, what you can do is then download my example program. And then you can get started right away. 
So once you get your Jetson Nano up and running and you want to have facial recognition versus just facial detection, you're going to need to uh, remove your old OpenCV library and install a brand new OpenCV 4.1 library with the extra contrib library, which includes uh, facial recognition. So one of the first things you want to do, uh, I'm showing you right now on a remote desktop of the Nano, so it looks a little different. But what you want to do is first, you want to purge the old OpenCV library. So don't do this unless you really want to upgrade. So the rest of this video is basically just upgrading. So you're going to purge the library. And then next is we're going to add some virtual memory. Right now I'm going to add about four gigabytes of virtual memory here. Uh, the reason for doing that is because the memory on the Nano isn't enough to completely fully do the install of 4.1. So we're going to add a little bit of artificial memory. So you're going to run a few commands here and basically adding the 4 gigabyte swap file and then you're going to have to edit the f file here real quick to a minor modification Gonna add a couple lines here, swap file none, swap zero, and then you're gonna save it. Um, and then after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna install this, run the script. You can either copy and paste it into your um, Nano, or you can download it from my GitHub page. You're gonna run the script. It's gonna install a lot of different libraries and go through and it's going to take about an hour or two before finishing and then next um, then we're going to do a quick quick guide basically we're going to do we're going to start making a, a basic data set so you just want to run the script and assuming you got your raspberry pi hooked up correctly the script should just run with no problems Oh, so what you need to do is um, before you you run the, the scripts, uh, you're going to need two folders, a data set folder and a trainer folder. But you want to keep all the scripts that you download in, in the main folder, and then you have two subset folders. This is where all the data is going to go. If you don't, uh, you're going to get errors in the Python script. So what you do is run, you hit the enter number one for the user to basically identify that you know the, use, the pictures with user one is your your face. In my case, it's going to be Botmation. So here, I'm taking a couple beauty shots here, and there, and just try to do a couple angles to make a good data set. And then right there, it's inside the data set folder. Okay. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to train the data. All you got to do is just run it. Uh, nothing really happens other than it just tells you that. Uh, I need to do Python 3 here. And then what you're going to see is that the data you just get trained, and that's it. And lastly, we're going to run the detection algorithm script. And it's, it's basically just based on the output of the training data. And then here, here you go. You can see that it's detecting my face pretty well, and it looks great. And that's how you go from all the way from the beginning of opening up the box straight to facial recognition in just a matter of a few hours. And if you like what you see, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, and feel free to share it to your friends. Uh, and thanks for watching.